Hi, this is Ryan from Scout Air Guns, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your uh, Scout Epic from a 25 inch barrel to a 35 inch barrel. As always, the first step on working on your air rifle is to make sure that it's in a safe and off position. This one is, so from there I'm going to uh, remove the 25 inch barrel by depressing the barrel lock and pushing up on the thumb screw while pulling the 25 inch barrel assembly straight out the front. With the air rifle off to the side, you're going to take your barrel wrench out of your tools kit that comes with your Epic rifle and you're going to unscrew this red component. And you're also going to unscrew the moderator from the first section. And you're going to unscrew the barrel liner lock. With that, the liner from the 25 inch barrel will slide out. I just had to unscrew that because I'm actually going to recycle the liner lock as well as the barrel breech onto the 35 inch barrel assembly. Before we move on, we're going to take a closer look at the barrel liner. Uh, on the liner, you'll have a smooth end and also an end with a groove. And the end with the groove uh, on the carbon fiber is also where it's laser engraved, so that's another visual cue to that. Uh, but basically, uh, the side with the groove is going to face towards your moderator, and the groove is there to interface with the barrel liner lock. So the O-rings inside of that will slide onto that groove and hold it in place. So the full assembly will be smooth side in to the, towards the breech of the rifle, and the groove side yeah, on the moderator side. So every 35 inch barrel kit is going to come with the outer barrel assembly plus three liners. I just have the one liner now because that's the one I'm going to use. On the carbon fiber, it's marked as an L for long and that uh, distinguishes the 35 inch from the S 25 inch one. Now, if we were changing calibers as well, you'd have to change your probe, your magazine, things like that. But since we're not, we're just changing the outer assembly and the liner, we're reusing the barrel chamber and we're reusing the liner lock and the rest of the moderator. Next, we're gonna install the 30 caliber barrel chamber onto the 35 inch outer barrel. I'm gonna start that with my fingers. And once I get it most of the way tight, I'm going to take that barrel chamber tool and just snug it in. There's little wings on the tool that line up with the wings on the barrel breech. So that's snug and tight. From there, I'm going to flip it around, insert the smooth end of the liner in and push it until it snaps. I'm going to take the liner lock, thread that in, and it, you'll feel it start to get tight as soon as that first O-ring uh, hits the OD of the barrel liner. Uh, you want to keep screwing it in and that O-ring will actually drop into that groove pocket on the barrel liner. Uh, you won't necessarily feel that, so you want to go until it's snug but not over tightened. So I just hand tighten it. Uh, if you crank on it really hard, you could uh, mess with the barrel and you don't want to do that. Once that liner lock is installed, I'm going to screw the rest of the moderator on and complete the 35 inch barrel assembly, which is now ready to quickly install back into your Epic. Now I'm going to install this 35 inch barrel back into the Epic. I want to make sure that the wings on the breech block are in their correct position, which is the small one is facing up, which means the air transfer tubes are facing down. I'm going to start sliding it through here. The beginning is a little snug because it's an O-ring fit. And then I'm going to smoothly slide it back until it's all the way into the breech and from there I'm going to push this thumb screw down and lock it into place. So in less than two minutes you can swap your barrel from 25 inches to 35 inches and get back out on the range. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel as well as check us out on Instagram and Facebook.